Hey gang, it's Monday morning. Monday for me is a day where usually I'm catching up on retouching, I'm catching up on emails from the previous week, or getting my social media ready for this week. I'm going to put together a short video every Monday answering some questions that I've received via email in the previous week, or talking about some articles that I found online that I think are relevant to our discussions. And we're going to start out this one talking about an article that I saw at digitalphotographyschool.com. And it's about a topic that's been discussed many, many times for years over, why asking what camera settings were used is not as helpful as you think. Can you tell me what settings you use to take that picture? I think it's so cool. Well, here's the problem. I can tell you the shutter speed. I can tell you the aperture. I can tell you the ISO. I can tell you what lens. I can tell you all those things. I can even tell you if I was using strobes, that I had them set at full power, half power, quarter power. None of that is really going to help you replicate what I did. And that's because there are so many other factors that come into play. And those factors are not part of the question that you're asking. Things like, how far were the lights from the subject? How far was I from the subject? How much depth of field was involved? Uh, what went into planning the shoot? Did the shoot require a special skill set from the subject? And this list can go on and on and on and on. Ask about the whys. Why were the decisions made? Knowing the shutter speed and the aperture and the ISO, that doesn't really help you. Understanding why the photographer made those decisions to choose that shutter speed or to choose that ISO, that's the information that is going to help you elevate your decision making process and take your photography to the next level. Asking those questions without trying to answer them yourself, honestly guys, it's lazy. Photography is a problem solving craft. When you want to make a picture, Essentially what you've got to do is you've got to solve a problem. How to make that picture look like what you are imagining in your mind. So if you're simply asking somebody to give you the whole roadmap so that you don't have to think, you're really not learning. One of the things that you should do before you start asking questions about how a shot was done was pause for a second, look at the image, study it, and figure out why do you like that image? Why does it resonate with you? And then start to answer some of your own questions. What kind of camera angle was used? Was it likely a fast shutter speed or a slow shutter speed? Was it likely a very wide aperture or a very small aperture? You'd be amazed how much you can tell about the technical aspects of an image simply by looking at it. By going through this process, really what you're doing is you're training your eye and you're training your thought process to evaluate these things. And believe me, this is a skill set that will help you tremendously when you're holding a camera in your hand and thinking through your setup for your shots. So listen, have a great week. We'll talk again next Monday. In the meantime, keep thinking, keep learning, and keep shooting. Adios. Thanks for watching. If you find these videos helpful, please give them a thumbs up and subscribe so that you don't miss a single episode. And if you've got a question that you would like answered, please post it in the comments section below. Your question could be my next video.